NASA's Curiosity rover has already long outlived its minimum projected two-year lifespan, clocking more than 2,400 Martian days as of June 2019. With hundreds of experiments carried out and almost half a million images sent back to Earth, Curiosity has been pushed well past its design limits. Of all the systems on board that have furthered our understanding of the Martian landscape, none have been as critical and as overworked as Curiosity's onboard computer system. Curiosity's entire mission relies primarily on two identical onboard rover computers called Rover Computer Elements or RCEs. These single board computers were designed to be hardened from the extreme radiation of space, safeguarding it against power off cycles. Each computer has 256 kilobytes of EEPROM, 256 megabytes of DRAM, and 2 gigabytes of flash memory. They both run a safety critical real time operating system known as VXWorks. VXWorks is used heavily in the aerospace and defense industries and can be found in the avionics systems of a variety of aircraft. At the heart of the rover computer elements is one of the most expensive CPU systems available, the BAE Systems RAD 750. Costing over a quarter million dollars per system board, the RAD 750 CPU is a 10.4 million transistor radiation hardened processor that has been proven in dozens of space-based deployments since 2005. The single core CPU is based on a PowerPC 750 architecture and can be clocked anywhere from 110 to 200 MHz, offering over 266 million instructions per second of processing power and operating on only 5 watts. It's manufactured on a die almost twice the size of its commercial counterparts, employing either a 250 or a 150 nanometer photolithography process comparable to commercial semiconductor manufacturing of the late 1990s. This process contributes to the CPU's immunity to radiation and tolerance for the extremely high temperature swings of space. The RAT 750 can handle between negative 55 degrees Celsius all the way up to 125 degrees Celsius. The threat posed by radiation on silicon-based microelectronics can be both disruptive and destructive. High energy particles can cause a single event upset in which radiation causes unwanted state changes in memory or a register, disrupting logic circuitry. Destructive strikes known as single event latch up, single event gate rupture, or single event burnout are permanent effects of radiation that can pin logic circuitry into a stuck state rendering them useless. The RAD 750 is capable of withstanding up to 1 million rads of radiation exposure. This level of hardness is six orders of magnitude more resistant than standard consumer CPUs. By comparison, a dose of 100 to 200 rads delivered to the entire human body in less than a day may cause potentially fatal acute radiation syndrome. While the RAD 750 CPU was extremely robust for space use, the motherboard as a whole was less hardened. It could only tolerate temperature ranges between negative 55 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius and radiation exposures of about 100,000 rads. The weaker motherboard components would eventually prove to be a source of trouble for Curiosity. When Curiosity landed on Mars in 2012, it operated on one of its RCEs known as the Side A computer. Immediately after landing, a major software update was sent to the rover, flushing out the no longer needed entry, descent, and landing application and replacing them with software optimized for surface operations. This was due to both the memory restrictions of the computers and the need for post-launch software development. The ground-optimized update included programming to operate the rover's sample acquisition instruments, its robot arm, and its six-wheel drive system. However, by the 200th day of the mission, the SIDE computer started to show signs of failure due to corrupted memory. The rover got stuck in a boot loop which prevented it from processing commands and drained the batteries. NASA executed a swap to the Side B computer so that engineers could perform remote diagnostics on Side A. In the following months, it was confirmed that part of Side A's memory was damaged. The unusable regions of memory were quarantined, though NASA decided to keep Side B as the primary computer due to the larger amount of usable memory. The Side B computer would operate for most of Curiosity's mission, but in October of 2018, computer issues would surface again when it began experiencing problems that prevented the rover from storing key science and engineering data. Left with no other options, the Curiosity team spent a week evaluating the Side A computer and prepared it for swapping back in as the primary computer. With Side A once again active, the Curiosity team was able to investigate the issues of the Side B computer in greater detail, determining that it also suffered from faulty regions of memory. Similar to how Side A's faults were handled, the bad regions of Side B's memory would also be flagged and quarantined from use. 
As of June 2019, Curiosity is still operating on its side A computer on the lower memory capacity caused by its initial failure. However, on March 12, 2019, the side A computer experienced a computer reset that triggered the rover safe mode. This was a cause for concern as it was the second computer reset within three weeks. Both resets were caused by a corruption in the computer's memory, suggesting further damage within the memory of the side A computer. Despite the glitches, the Curiosity rover still remains functional on its side A computer, with the team contemplating an eventual switch over to the side B system. But with the slow decline of both computers' memory systems, it's possible that the death blow to Curiosity's extraordinary mission performance may come from within the handful of chips that form the memory of its computers. To learn more about how computer faults plague the previous generation of rovers, check out the video on the Opportunity mission over on Elder Fox Documentaries channel.